Welcome back. We're going to play some more 10 minute games here on Shogi Wars. Good luck. So we had just watched some games this morning. Uh, we've already had an active viewership. They're trying to arrange games with each other. And I still have much to study, but I can still have fun playing games. Um, even before I study. So this actually indicates I might attack the bishop soon. Um, but yeah, I still need to figure out all these move order considerations. Um, oh, they can still play the same attack against my own castle that I'm playing against them, but... Um... <laughs> You got me stumped. So they're going to kick my silver unless I play my attack right away. So we have entered a mutual attack position. My overlay is fine. This is good. Uh, for visual interest, let's get a proverb up here. All right, so I'm seemingly making their gold race up the board. And I don't seem to remember the gold being a great piece for running up the board with. On the other hand, uh, this side of the board is a bit strange for me. Um... So I don't want this bishop floating around here forever. I would rather kick it. If I kick it right now, then if I kick the gold next, I don't profit. Potentially I do profit if I drop this pawn here, they drop a pawn, I kick the gold, or bishop, and maybe things work out better. Um, but also it's greedy if I try to win this bishop. Um, Hmm. If I start exchanging pieces too close to my castle, I get a bit nervous. Um, is there any reason for me to not kick the bishop right away? Oh yes, here's a reason not to kick it, is I could move my rook to this file. They'd have to move their rook to oppose. But if I kick the bishop first, then I could move my rook here. This is the right move order. I agree, transport. <laughs> I'll get to further commentary in a second there. But yeah, it's... If feedback is unilaterally positive, then how are people supposed to know what they can improve on? It's kind of silly. Uh, positive things can be useful, but um, if all you're ever getting is positive feedback, uh, then eventually Enough. when you're confronting, confronted with negative feedback, you don't know what to do about it. Alright, so we're going to kick this gold, like I've been thinking about, and then make use of this file. So their rook is bottled up, their bishop's bottled up, this gold is continuing to be a target. Um, so just hit it again and again and again. Um, and now we've completed that campaign. I could bring my silver to block my rook, which is not... I feel like there's got to be something better. Bringing up the knight doesn't do anything because I've already collapsed this point. Um, I 
They still want to aim at my bishop's head, but uh, I still don't have a good answer for it. Okay, I think the answer is I bring this up, and if they aim here, I could use the rook to defend it. A rook could be a nice attacking piece here. I'm not going to lie. Oh, my profile pick. Um... Oh, are you referring to this? Uh, yeah, there was a recent tournament here. Uh, a win streak tournament in which this uh, profile pick with a chicken in hand is awarded. Um, so, somehow I got a win streak and got it, which is pretty cool. If I move this up, their bishop can't hit of course the bishop can't hit it. Uh, wait. But if they exchange the rook for a bishop, then they drop a bishop here. I can defend my gold. And then I have a rook to drop in their camp, so I'm still not afraid. Um, this might be a waste of a move in that it encourages the sacrifice or exchange. But I'm calling their bluff if they try to do that. They're not going to try to do that. Um, instead, I'm just going to attack their king directly. <sighs> this is so weird. This pawn move doesn't do much. It prepares to prepare other things. But by itself, it's not doing a whole lot. Ah, thanks, transport. <laughs> yeah, no, they... <clears throat> uh, if I allow Twitch to bombard me with emails, it'll send me an email, uh, including the positive feedback. Um, all right, I was going to hit this and just keep hitting. Yeah, let's do this. This looks kind of interesting. Do I exchange? Oh, if I offer Rook exchange, they could take it, conceivably. Um, it's not easy for them to decline it. Should I offer it, though? If I don't offer it, what, are, what am I going to do? What are they going to do? I don't know. My timer's ticking. I really want to play a move. This Rook is already hanging. So I'm going to defend my rook. <laughs> no skill. Uh, womp womp. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so they actually blocked this. I didn't think they would do that. Um, Come on. All right, so I can drop a piece in front of their bishop once they attack my rook. Um, I do drop this piece here, as promised. They got nothing in hand. Um, I 
got three pawns. Hmm, this is more dangerous than I thought. This pawn exchange, because they could actually offer the rook exchange here. I only saw this line where uh, they can't do a whole lot at all. Um, sure, I could save my rook, but why? This looks too interesting. I can't resist. So if they take my rook, I could take the rook, or I could drop a bishop, or a, rather a knight here. But no, I want to save the knight drop, because I'm threatening then a rook drop and a knight drop mate. With the king ensnared in the center. Yeah, I forget if, I think by August they say they're rolling out that feature, and you can submit it once, and that's your one submission for that channel. You can never correct it. So, uh, let's, you know, like, what you really think about that person. Or their, rather their program. Um, so... Uh, use it well. Interesting. Eight分三十秒. This might be wrong. I don't know. My next idea is bring the token over, mm -hmm. or the uh, fork. Hmm. I think this is best way, but it's not mate.
Hmm. Should have checked first. Get two bishops. No, the check doesn't do anything without this. Yeah, place that as if it's a check. Fuck. I lose. Wait, I missed- this is actually checkmate. I thought it wasn't. I thought it was, and I thought it wasn't, and then my computer binged at me. Thanks for the game. Yep, missed mate and won. Feel free to hand out the bingo card you made, I don't mind. Uh, wait, let's play another. Good luck. Yeah. And it's true, it's just at this point, um, I've, I don't know, it seems like, I don't know if I've given up on improvement altogether or just set it aside while I'm working on a crazy number of other things. But Alexi did help out considerably the other day. And so now I need to go look carefully at what advice he provided about opening study. Carefully review that. Um, I messed this up. I messed this up. I messed this up. That sucks. Alright, we'll push this anyway. Yeah. Well, I mean, potentially these opponents seem... They don't always convert when things go very strongly in their favor. It's not uncommon for them to make 
enormous mistakes um, and essentially give the game back in the end game. I shouldn't expect them to do that, but it happens often enough. Um, Okay, we're going to unblock the bishop and pray that that doesn't get me murdered. Um, Nanafun. With two pawns in hand, can I do anything? I hope so, but it's not looking great. Oh, well, there's a thing I can do. It doesn't do much. It really doesn't do much. Like, potentially dropping the rook back would have been more effective than what I did. Um... Also, my king being right next to this is a bit concerning. So even though... oh. Um... Hmm. Okay. How bad is this? On a scale of one to bad, how bad is that? My king is going up the board now. He needs vacation. Bad? Okay. But, like, the bishop wasn't doing anything anyway. But, uh, I guess potentially it could be bad. 
On the bright side, I'm not going to lose this game on time. Uh, I'm going to lose it some other way. <laughs> so my next plan is to push this pawn and redrop it and push again. You know, at least I've got a target. Um, the problem with that is that most of my pieces are floating. Uh, so as soon as they can manage to take one, all the rest of them will be hanging. So that's not a great situation. But I'll be able to get a promoted pawn. And it only cost me everything. But hey, on the bright side, not going to lose the game on time again. So I saw that and I thought I'd move my king up here, even though it looks sketchy. But I don't see anything better. Oh, this gold is actually defended by the rook, so I was thinking this pawn advance and the knight takes or something and they'd be able to win a gold here, but um, it's not winning a gold. So I can fight back here. Knight takes pawn drop and then they invade, so Unless I can see a way to force knight takes to work, silver takes its best. Goku. Um, I'm sorry, they're gonna take whatever I take back with. They want this rook to promote at a timing when my rook is not defending the back row. So I want to make that that process not profitable for them. So if they drop a pawn, then I can drop the rook back and guard the promotion square. But dropping the rook back loses this gold general. So maybe I can't do that either. Hmm. I'm still looking at options of dropping pawns in front of the rook to try to make... Oh, never mind. Here we go. Um... There's our clip shape. Strongest shape. Alright, so next we have to do not lose everything at once. Um, it's not obvious how to achieve that. Potentially this bishop is a target. We'll, attain, we'll attempt to hit this bishop. Um, this rook isn't doing anything other than defending the gold, so let's hit the bishop again. There we go. My king is surrounded. However, I have removed that bishop. Now I have both bishops. I've got the clergy. 
What do I do? Try to survive this somehow. Um, Welcome. Yeah. We're just playing a very, very dangerous game of Shogi. Sampun. Hmm. Oh, they don't... well, no, they're... They dropped their only general they had in hand. Um, so this means I can survive a little bit against this really severe attack. Yes, they win more material, but who's counting at this point? I mean, I'm counting. I want to take that back once they take, but still. I'm not aware of it raining where I am. Only thing that's raining are the pieces from this board onto my opponent's piece stand. At best as I can tell. I said I wasn't going to lose this on time. And here we are. Um, uh, let me reduce. No, that's not going to help. Yeah, I'm not sure. Perhaps somehow. Noises from the computer are producing feedback. Um, I did have to change up my volume settings last time we did a game review with somebody else. Normally I don't do game reviews through audio because then I have to change my settings up and we still get a tremendous echo. But uh, last time I changed all my settings, perhaps I didn't set everything back perfectly. But is that better patter only after players move, or is that just all the time that's happening? Okay. Our king's going on a walk. Oh! So ends the walk. There we go. Do I use Linux? Sometimes. Who doesn't? Alright, here we go. Two down, one to go. Yeah, I think this echo may be... There's probably only feed... Good luck. There's probably only feedback after players are making moves, if I had to guess. Um, but I'll have to check the recording since you didn't tell me one way or the other.
right, it's the duck. They're making the duck-like strategy. How do I fight against it? How about this time I build a castle? Isn't that a concept? <laughs> I was tempted to do the same thing against them, honestly. There's the duck legs castle. Uh, apparently that's not left me no for some reason. I don't know why not. There we go. Left me now. There is a rating disparity in this game. For those who don't know the word disparity, that just means difference. Um, one player has a different rating from the other player. And so sometimes lopsided games result from such an arrangement. Okay, so I want to block the rook, and this actually blocks the rook. Even though it invites the bishop in, there's no target there. The bishop and rook and knight want to cooperate on the square, and now the rook cannot cooperate there. So now it's just uh, the knight and the bishop attacking. Um... I'm going to cover the square again, but also prepare to push this. Not that I need to, but yes, if some circumstance came up and I had to push it, I could. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to activate all of my pieces here. Like, this is a target, but not easy to hit. Um, oh, I have an idea. Um, it's about damn time. Well, one idea is don't open this. And the sun's kind of set on the timeline for that idea. Um, Nanafun. Oh, I'm just paranoid that I'm going to mess this up in a rather not-so-glorious way. Um, Alright, we'll take this vanguard point. 
or pawn. Um, then defend the square yet again. And the threat is to hit the bishop. Okay, so that's a heavy sacrifice. That's heavy sacrifice number one. Let's see heavy sacrifice number two now. Because one's not going to be enough to break in. Meanwhile, I could push a pawn to block this bishop, and it no longer does anything. So, yeah, once they drop a silver here, I could, well, I can't push this anymore because then silver could take. Um, that was my whole plan is to push this next or push this next. But that doesn't seem to work the way I thought. Um, on the other hand, if they drop the silver, I could step back and the silver can't go anywhere. What I was thinking is I could drop a lance on this file and take the knight, and then maybe some knight fork could show up somewhere. Um, but no, I think my opponent played overly aggressively, or imbalanced shape this game. And now they're trying to find any way to continue their attack. Um, if they drop the silver way far away from the king, it doesn't do much. Um, it's just a hard shape because, yes, the king is safe between two half Mino castles. That's what this duck leg is. It's like, here's a silver and a gold that protect each other twice. So this is like two castles surrounding the king, each of which could be broken, and then the king just dodges into the other castle. Fair enough, but, um... It means that they've invested four pieces plus whatever else to defend it. So attacking could be a bit difficult to achieve. So if I exchange, I'm in great trouble. But if I don't exchange, what happens? Yes, they cover the square twice, so I can't use the square. And that's modestly annoying. But uh, aside from that, is anything happening here? I could drop a lance, take this pawn, threaten to take this gold. Okay, they want a pawn in hand. Understandable, however, this seals the bishop's only escape. It just dawned on me that, like, maybe I was threatening this the whole time, and the bishop retreats, and I hit it again. My horse becomes useful. Um, oh, right. I said it was trapped. I meant it, but um, it might not be right. Hmm. So I could take this pawn, and that'd be kind of crazy. Um, I'm going to provoke fate here. So the knight's the only piece defending the silver. Therefore, I don't know. Yeah, they're attacking my stuff, but most of it's defended. Um, okay. This surrounds their bishop. Um, so, if they take, I can actually recapture this, can't I? And they trap my rook, I trap their bishop. That's not so great. Oh, my rook is trapped anyway. Oh my god. Nothing. Right, so we're going to untrap my rook, even though it costs me my entire castle, and this is scary, to say the least. So they could take here, I get a bishop, they can start dropping all these generals next to my king. 
but I'll have both rooks and both bishops. So hopefully I can find an escape. Um, separately I could drop a bishop to try to exchange it for two pieces. Because even though this enormously wide open castle would be terrifying for a rook drop, other pieces should not have me quite so scared. Um, if I drop a lance, they drop another piece. So trying to defend this point doesn't work. Um, if I push this, they take, and they're threatening a gold drop on the head. Hmm. I might have underestimated just how dangerous this is. By, like, ten orders of magnitude. Um, I thought I was going to push this and escape. So they're threatening mate. If I drop a bishop, I'm still in trouble. Um, if I push, they take, I drop a knight. Um, that doesn't help me. If I push the king up, they attack, I take, they take back, I drop a pawn. An early escape of the king is worth eight moves. We're trying to escape this king. Is this king going to successfully escape? I don't know. Um... Maybe a night drop there would have been better. Don't know. Maybe retreating the rook to defend this knight would have been sensible also. Although this gold in the corner, if it takes my lance, um, means I have a really easy escape back to the center. So... Let's see what I've missed here. Thanks for the game. All right, we have a we won a game today. Uh, we'll take it.
We're not above taking a win. That's why we play the games. I'm sure there's still things worth learning there. Um, so, yeah, they're climbing the ranks quickly, evidently. So we see here they're at 99.9%. They've made it up to 8Q already in their first 50 games. And this time, they did not promote to 7Q. And I'm sure they'll have another chance. Um, yeah, so... Uh, of these games, yeah, there's going to be a lot to learn, a lot to study. I'll have to review them carefully, but also, it's occurring to me I need to study more games, not just my own, but look for games from better players as to how better to play my openings, because playing against opponents is one source of inspiration. And if you're playing against the right opponents, sure, you'll learn a lot. Um, but also, looking at what other people have played and studying it in an organized fashion might help me in the future. I've been putting that off for quite a while, but the longer I put it off, the more I realize how much we need to do that, and that my own development of tools that like look at your own games and try to automatically coach you, my own development of that is just forever lagging behind. So it occurs to me, you know, I might need to put my own software aspirations aside there with, like, if I had any aspirations of making an automated coach, you know, I need to be modest enough and realize that that's going to take a very long time and not in a time frame that it's not going to be able to be done in a time frame that's going to help me. So, yeah. Yeah, hell is freezing over. It's mad. But we've played so many games, both on 81 Dojo and on Shogi Wars, that I think we've shown uh, convincingly that even though I can manage to get a decent rating, I cannot, through playing games and getting games reviewed by other people and reviewing my own games alone, that's just clearly not enough uh, in order to reach what's considered Don on this server or on most other servers. So, I think to continue the ascent, um, we'll need to say that the experiment's been concluded. And it shows that, you know, on my own, without looking at... Uh, I mean, sure, I can watch videos and other stuff, but without looking at actual pro-game, after pro-game, etc., it seems I'm stuck. I think we've demonstrated convincingly that I am stuck. Um, that um, I need to do other things in order to reach the next level. And that my own software development that I hoped was going to catch up has not caught up. I've been forever caught in the maintenance of crazy number of free software projects, many of which still benefit folks, so I'm glad about that. But yeah, I need to focus my efforts um, and recognize that I just can't develop code to help myself here it's there's too much so i'll start taking a look at some um, games by better players and see if that produces more interesting content and uh, something maybe more personally satisfying we'll see i hope we enjoyed these games thanks for watching